Hey everybody, welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Today I want to show you guys how to make a Starbucks coffee inspired logo. Um, a lot of people are super into this and I thought this would be really, really fun and super easy to do. So the first thing I did was just so that I could see it, I just uploaded a picture of the Starbucks logo to my design space. I just left it as a print just so that I could see what it looked like so that I kind of had a better idea of how I wanted to build mine. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to insert a shape because we just start with the circle. So let's go ahead and insert our circle and we're just going to go ahead and make it kind of big so we can see it. And just so I get a better idea of what I want it to look like, I'm going to change my circle to green. It doesn't have to be the exact Starbucks green, it won't matter. Now as you see, the Starbucks logo actually consists of a thin green circle and then a fat green circle too. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to insert another shape. And I'm going to immediately turn this one to white so that I can see better as to how big I want to make it. So I'm just going to, all I want to do is start in one corner and I'm just going to expand my circle by using this little um, arrows down in the bottom. And all you want to do is just kind of keep expanding your circle and it's just going to be a matter of kind of moving it around on your other circle until you get it so that it's going to give you a thin line all the way around. And this is more of just like an eyeball thing where you're just going to see if it looks like the circle is even, which it looks really super even to me. So all I want to do now is I'm going to select both circles. And by doing to do that, all I want to do is take my mouse, left click and hold my mouse button down and just make sure that my square is touching both items. And all I'm going to do is click slice. I don't need the white circle anymore. And I also don't necessarily need this circle. But what we're going to do is actually use this circle here to make our smaller circle on our, our beginning of our ring, I should say. So it's got kind of a wider um ring around it than it does have the green ring so again this is just an eyeball it kind of thing find where it looks even sometimes I'll take away the box around it it helps you see I think that looks really really even so this is just honestly going to be building a bunch of circles so this is going to be our outside ring so we need to insert another circle because we need to make this inner ring so we're just going to insert another circle and again I'm going to turn it to white so that it's just a little bit easier to see. Now this one here is going to be just kind of guesstimating or at least putting it as big as you want your outside ring. So this is going to be a personal preference and you're just going to want to try to again eyeball it to get it to line up there in the center. That looks pretty centered, I think. That looks like a pretty good circle for me. And I actually might make it a little, I'm gonna make mine just a little bit bigger. So every time you adjust the size of your circle, you're going to need to adjust where it sits on your ring. Again, I'm gonna slice, and I'm doing this because I don't want a white layer. So now we have a couple circles so in order to slice this you can't draw the circle oops and I didn't mean to do that you can't draw the square around it because it won't let you slice you can only slice two items at once so to do this one I'm gonna click on the white circle in the center hold control on my keyboard and click on the green circle on the outside because that only selects the two items and I'm gonna go ahead and slice so we're gonna move this one and get rid of it we don't need it we can keep this one because we can use it to size our center if we want or we can just get an image off the internet and make it fit because you can find lots of Starbucks logo inspired items so I'll show you guys how to do that really quick so I think what I'm going to do is I'm a huge um, Lion King fan so I'm just gonna look up Lion King uh, let's look up Lion King Simba he's pretty cool so I'm gonna find a lot of pictures that are like this by doing that so what you can do is look up Lion, Sing, Kling, Lion King Simba clip art and see if there's anything in there that might work. 
you want to go with something that's going to be just a single color, like something like this guy, um, or you can do her. Or what you can do is go Lion King Starbucks. And what that'll do is it's going to bring up some images. So you kind of get an idea of how to do these. So let's go back and I'll, sh I'll do one with the black and white Simba that we, or the, um, I believe that's Mufasa. I'm not sure. But let's see if we find one we like better. Um, I actually super like this one. So let's go ahead and I think, mm, we could do Timon and Pumbaa. There's a lot of options. So you kind of just click, see what you like. Um, you know, find one, and I like said, try to find one that's just black and white. So we're going to go ahead, and I'll use this one. So I'm going to just save my image. I'm going to save it into my Cricut folder, and I'm going to save it as Simba. You can also try looking up Simba, um, you can look up Simba SVG, and we can see what comes up for that. Um, something like that might work better, but it just depends on the style that you're going for for your cup. Um, you can obviously purchase these from Etsy and things like that, but I like to create my own. So I think we'll go with the Simba that we found. So all we're going to do is click upload and we're going to upload our image and I'm going to go ahead and browse and I'm going to find him. I saved him as Simba. So we're just going to scroll down and there he is. Now we need to make sure that we clean him up and hopefully this image will clean nicely. They don't all clean super nice, but let's try it. So we'll click simple. And all we're going to do is remove everything that isn't black. And I'm actually going to remove this word because I don't want it. I don't need it. So all we have to do is just click on all these empty spaces that he has. So all the negative space on him, which it's a lot on this guy. So it's going to be a minute to clean him up, but that's okay. Take your time. Just find all the spaces. You can also use an, um, a program like um, Inkscape or Adobe to take all these off but I wanted to show you guys this way just because um, going into an Inkscape tutorial right now would be a whole nother video so we're just gonna delete all those and then I want to use my eraser which you can find up here in the upper corner and I'm just gonna erase this completely because I don't want it and I don't need it and I'm gonna go to preview because I'm pretty sure I missed his, his parts of his eyes and I did so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom way in by clicking on those little magnifying glasses and I'm going to go ahead and go back to my magic tool. And I know I missed the little dot in his eyes. And then around this eye, I might need to click this a couple times just because it's such a tiny space. And then the dot around his eye there. And then I'm going to go ahead and make sure I get this little piece. Oops. If you do that where it accidentally erases something you didn't want it to, just click undo. We're going to preview him. He's not perfect, but he'll do. Like I said, if I had more time, I would find a better version or I would um, upload him through Inkscape. But this will work for now. He looks fine. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. And we're going to save him as a cut. And we're going to go ahead and insert him into our design. So just go ahead and insert the image. And we're going to just size him so that he fits within this swiggle. Now, if you notice, our Starbucks lady is actually white and the background is black. So we're going to end up actually doing this in more of a negative style where we're going to cut Simba out of a black circle. So I'm going to go ahead and change the circle behind him to black. And I'm going to change him to white. Now, in case you missed it, just to change a color, all you do is over here in the Layers tab, click on the black circle next to your item, and it brings up this neat little project colors and all you're going to do is change him to white he's a little bit thin like i said i'm not a big fan but for now we'll use him it's fine so now we get to add our text and i think what we're going to do is we're going to call this simba coffee so i'm just going to type all capitals oops simba and i'm just going to move that out of the way and then i'm going to do the next one and we're just going to call it coffee Okay, and I'm going to move that one out of the way because I want to find a font that's kind of fat and chunky. Um, I always go into my system fonts because it's what I already own and it doesn't cost me any money. And Arial Black is usually my go-to for kind of a chunkier um, style just because it's just it's a nice, easy one to weed. So you're going to use Arial Black. And I also am going to put some paw prints in here because she has stars. 
So we're going to make paw prints as well. And I might change out Simba. I really don't like him. So let me show you guys how we're going to curve our words. And I'm going to change these to white. Again, just go over to here. Click on the color and just change them. Because we're actually going to end up slicing the word out. And I'll show you how to do that too. So we're going to ungroup our word. And we're just going to move our word around a little bit. And we're going to find the center letter, which is the M. So we're going to center our M. And I actually think the size is pretty good for what we're trying to do. So we don't need to resize our letters, which is nice. So we're just going to drag them after we ungroup them onto our cup. And all you have to do is after you've ungrouped them, what they do is they all give you these options. And you're going to up here in this right hand corner, just turn your letters. What I like to do is I'll try to even them up and design space is a little bit slow and I don't know where my A just went. <laughs> uh, so remember me telling you guys that sometimes this thing has a mind of its own. Tonight might be one of those nights. So I'm just going to retype an A, change it to white, no big deal. It's not the end of the world. So we're just going to change them to white and we'll just put them back up there. It's fine. So we're just, all we have to do is just sort of play with it and it's a matter of eyeballing how you want it to look. So I'm going to just move my B a little bit more. And then we just do that for each of our letters. So we'll bring our I in and your I you're going to just curve this way so that it goes around the cup. And your S you're going to curve this way. Yep, that looks pretty good. And we're just going to do the same thing with coffee. I'm going to change the color to white. It's going to be really hard to see right there, but hopefully you guys can see it. And then I'm going to ungroup. The center of coffee is actually the middle of these two F's. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my F's and center them. They may need to be a little bit turned. Because if you look at the coffee in the Starbucks logo, they're just a little bit turned. So we're going to just turn it this way a little bit. And then this one looks like it, oops, and then I turned that the wrong way. This one looks like it's actually going like this. No, it's not perfect. I'm not loving that. Again, this is just a matter of how you want it to look. So you guys can play with these letters and you can use whatever word you want. The O usually doesn't need turned. It just depends on your font. You won't actually notice if you turn it. Um, just some of them are round and some of them are slightly oval. So just make sure you note that um, as you're doing your projects. If you've got a really oval O, you won't you'll want to turn it. If you if it's perfectly round, don't worry, you won't have to. So just make sure all your letters are lined up to where you want them to be. And you want to make sure that they're not hanging over the edge of your design. And I'm gonna slide my letters a little bit because I don't don't love their placement. And this is what I like about these types of items. They're really all up to you and what you like and what you want to do with them. They don't have to be exactly what everyone else does. So, you know, if you want your letters more curved, um, if you want your letters straighter, this is just all up to you guys and how you want to do it. So I kind of don't like the way those are curving, so I'm going to recurve these a little bit. And I think that's pretty good. So, again, it's not perfect. If someone notices that these aren't perfect when you're carrying around your super cute cup, you don't need that kind of negativity in your life. So what I'm going to do now is I need to weld my letters so that they're one piece. And you can actually weld both words. The easiest way to do this is to come over into your layers and you're going to click on one letter, hold the control button, and just click all the way down your letters while holding the control button. And what that's going to do is it'll select all of your letters because we don't need to select anything right now except the letters because what we want to do is we're going to click weld. What that does is it turns this piece into one item. Because remember, you can only slice two things. So what I need to do now is I'm going to select my word and I'm going to select my out, uh, my inner ring. All I'm going to do is click slice. Because remember, we don't want too many um, layers when we put this on our cup. So we don't need this anymore. 
and we don't need this anymore. Because now, what you'll see, if you see, look close, you can see the grid through. Because our cup is white, we don't have to worry about this white being a layer. So I'm just going to delete Simba. I'm not a fan. I don't like him. He just doesn't look like what I want on my cup. So I'm going to go back into Google, and I'm going to find some other something. <laughs> just not sure what. But we'll find something to put into our cup. Let's go back and let's see what we can find here. Let's look up Simba coffee, maybe? Hmm. What I need is one that's a little bit bigger, I think, like that. So like I said, this is really going to be all about what you guys want and how you want to design it. So I think what I'm going to end up looking up is Simba black and white, maybe, and see what they have that might be a little bit more what I'm looking for. And actually, this, I think, would be perfection. So let's use him instead. So we're just going to save the image as. I'm just going to replace the Simba I already have with him. And we're going to upload our image again. Like I said, guys, this is not a, a science. I try to, to do these design videos as I go so that you guys can see that I also struggle with making decisions. So I'm actually going to try to do this one on a more complex setting just to see if it'll clean up some of these lines a little bit better. But you're going to do the same thing where you just go through and you're going to remove all of the negative space. And he may not be great because he's very got some very small parts, but... We'll try it anyways and see what happens. I think he's super duper cute, so I think he's going to look really good. I just think it's going to take a little bit of time to clean him up, a little more than normal, but that's all right. Again, you could easily use Design, or you could easily use um, Inkscape or Adobe, and someday I will have to do a tutorial on how to change these in those programs so that you can see how easy it really is once you learn. And I promise you guys, it's it looks so much harder than it is. And some of the videos I've seen make it seem like you have to know every itty bitty little design detail. And you just, you just don't. It's fine. All right, I'm just going to use him. Um, he's not great. I'm not a fan. He's very hard to get clean but either way he's fine no he's not holy Moses sometimes you can't see how bad they are until you actually pull them up sometimes you can look and see if there's possibly a smoother version that'll bring up in Google um, he doesn't look like he's gonna be very smooth um, so sometimes it's just a matter of looking and finding and oh I found him let's use this one so we'll call him Simba's. So we're going to just back out of this. Not a fan. We're going to browse. We're going to go find our new Simba, which we'll use this one. I'm just choosing complex to see what it does, um, but it looks like it cleaned him up pretty good. So he's really easy. We're going to stick with him. I think he'll look super cute on the cup. So we're going to go ahead and save him as a cut. We're going to insert him into our project. And again, change him to white because he needs to be white because we're not going to actually end up cutting him out. Oh, I think he's really cute. Yeah, I think he's going to work beautifully. So I'm going to just resize him a little bit because I want him to hang off the edge just like she does. So remember, we have to slice him out too because we don't want him as a layer. So I'm just going to select him and select the black behind him, which that did not do. All right, it doesn't want to do that. So you can, if you know which layers you need, you can come over here to your Layers tab, select Simba, and select the black circle, and just click Slice. Because again, we don't want Simba. We don't need him. So just pull him away, and we're going to delete him off of our screen. We don't need him. The only other thing I want to add is I'm going to add two little paw prints because I think he would look really cute, and it would really follow the Starbucks logo. I've already uploaded paw prints before, so I'm just going to go and look at my view all, and I'm going to find my paw print that I uploaded. There it is. And I'm going to insert my image. 
Now for this one, I'm going to make him way smaller, and he's also going to be white just so I can get a better idea of what he's going to look like. And I'm just going to slide him right here. And so I make sure that both my paw prints are the same size. Up here at the top, I'm going to use Duplicate. This is a great tool for if you're making multiples of something and you want them all to be the same size. Now again, we need to slice. So I'm going to select one paw print and the outer layer and click Slice. Then I'm going to select, or then I'm going to move them off. Whoops, not do that. If you ever do that where you accidentally grab something you shouldn't, just hit undo. I'm going to go ahead and move this to the back just to make it easier to grab these paw prints that we don't want because sometimes this layer gets on top of the other layers. And all you have to do if that happens is just click the layer and just move it to the back so that you can try to grab the item you don't want. And I just realized, I see, and this is what happens. I picked the wrong paw print to remove. If that happens, just take your other paw print and move it over. Sometimes it is hard to tell which one sliced, and that's fine. So we're going to go ahead and select this and the outer ring again and select, select slice. And we're going to remove this paw print. And you can just delete them because, again, we don't need it. So now he's ready to be made, except one more step you need to make sure that your green rings are going to cut in the right order. So I'm going to show you something. I'm going to click make it. And you can see that I still have some white pieces. So I'm going to make sure to go in and clean those out. And that's why I always click make it before I prepare much because sometimes there'll be these little hidden bits that you just want to make sure aren't there. So this is going to be our black piece. And this is what I wanted to show you. See how our ring wants to cut there? and there, we don't want it to do that. We want it to cut as one piece. So the first thing we're gonna do is select this and select the outer ring, and we're gonna attach those. A lot of people will tell you to weld them. You can weld them if they are the same color, but, if they're, but I prefer attach. So now that we have these attached, we can move these out of the way and see if we can find the little weird pieces that are, for some reason, white. So I don't know why it does it, but sometimes you get weird pieces and it's just a design space thing. So we don't need them. Get rid of them. Just delete them. We are ready to make our item. So I'm going to hit make it and I'm going to show you again the green because now it's going to cut the green in the proper order. We're going to go ahead and cut this out. I'm actually going to resize it because I made it kind of big so you guys could see it. But now it's like way too big for my cup. It's huge. So I'm going to all, if you want to resize the whole thing, just select the entire item. I'm going to pull it over a little bit. And I know I want it way smaller. I'm probably only going to cut this at about three inches because my cup's kind of small. So once you've done that, you just can click make it. And it's going to make it nice and small on your item. And this is actually a super good one to do, especially if it's this small with scrap vinyl. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys it cutting and then we can apply it. All right, we are ready to load our mat. I loaded the black first because that's what it's going to cut first. So we're going to go ahead and load that. And while that's loading, I'm going to and cutting. I'm going to cut my green so that it will fit on my mat better. I don't have any scrap green. The one trick I like to use so that I don't have to unload my mat is I will put my other color down in this lower corner so that I can just flip my mat over and then I can unload both of them once they're done. So as soon as this black is done, I will show you the green. Okay, so all you have to do is unload your mat, just turn it the other way, and then I'm going to load the green up in this upper corner. And then all you have to do is just put your mat in again and hit the right button. You can pull the one off on your corner if you want. That way you can weed it while you wait. So we're just going to weed it. And this should be a really easy one to weed because there's not a whole lot of detail to it. I'm just going to trim off my excess. And you can see it's pretty small. I used Oracle 651 for both of these items. 
And that is a permanent vinyl, but remember guys, it is not dishwasher safe. So you'll want to make sure to hand wash only on these items. You don't want to soak them in hot water. Get Simba's eyes out here and his nose. All right, we have our black weeded. See, he came out really cute. Now something like this you would not want to use on your Air 2, the quick cut, because it does have such small details for the coffee ring. So you'll want to make sure that you just do this at regular speed. And you'll want to use a vinyl setting if you are using 651. You can also do this with um, HTV or iron-on if you would like. Um, I just like to use the uh, regular 651. So that's done. So this one's going to be a little more difficult to weed. So, oops. And this is what happens when you have a super sticky brand new mat. It'll rip your backing sometimes. So just be careful removing it. I shouldn't have quite ripped it that quickly. So just slowly take that off. I'm going to close this so you guys can see better. And I'm going to aim you down here. And all we're going to do is carefully, and I'm actually going to trim this one because I can save that big piece of scrap right there. So I'm just going to trim it, and I'm just going to grab a corner with my weeding tool and peel it back. So once we come back, we'll have this whole one weeded, and then we'll be ready to apply it. We are ready to put our transfer tape on. I just use Dollar Tree contact paper. This is usually going to be over by the shelf liner and things like that, but I have seen a couple of the other stores that have been keeping it by the aluminum foil. You can also get this on Amazon and at Walmart. So all we're going to do, move the cup out of the way, is you're going to take your centerpiece and you're going to just try to center it as best you can onto your contact paper. And you're just going to rub that down. And with your Cricut scraper, you're just going to press your design onto your transfer tape. And then you can just remove it from the backing. And this is a really easy, fun way to do a layer vinyl. So all you have to do now is just line it up in the center of your uh, Simba Coffee logo. And you can see we have it fairly centered there. Now we're going to press down so that we have the green. Now with this one, you want to make sure that you're pressing really well on this outside ring because it's such a thin piece. So you just want to make sure that you press really, really well. And then we're going to peel it off the backing. I pre-cleaned my cup with an alcohol wipe, so make sure you pre-clean your cup. And all you want to do is just put your coffee logo wherever you want it on your cup, usually pretty well centered, and just press it down. Now with this, I made it a little bit too large for this cup, but that's okay. It, it should still work. So we're just going to press from the center and press out. And you don't want to use your Cricut scraper quite yet because you just want to get this pressed down before you start scraping on it. That way if it is a little off, you can more than likely peel it right back up. So I've got it pressed down, so now you're going to take your scraper and you're just going to wipe all over. And again, make sure you pay special attention to your outside circle because that is such a thin piece and you don't want it to come up when you peel off your transfer tape. Now that we've done that, we're just going to peel our transfer tape off. And there we have our Simba's coffee mug, Starbucks inspired. This was such a fun craft to do, and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching the video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel as I put out new videos all the time. If you're looking for a specific tutorial, make sure to just request that, and I'll try to um, get that done as soon as I can for you guys. Make sure you do click that bell button. What that does is it's going to let you know whenever I post a new video. I hope you guys have a great day.